Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Brock the Collector here. Today, we're going to be taking a closer look at the Walgreens exclusive 212th Clone Trooper. So, let's crack this guy open. No, no preface, no nothing. The only thing I'm going to say is, yeah, just like you guys, I hate Walgreens. And, like, fortunately, I was able to actually find this guy um, in stock on the Walgreens website. You know, it was uh, kind of a... It was a struggle because I remember I would seen the link for it go up and then um, it was just a few days of, of you know, just kind of refreshing, kind of just seeing the water. I'd refresh every now and then and then I actually got it a couple times and then it said, um, it actually said to, uh, I believe it told me something like um, it actually can't add it, like it was out of stock. But it was saying that it was available to add for shipping, so that was strange. Um, so I tried to add for shipping several times, and never really went through until I tried one day, a little bit closer to the afternoon, and actually went through. So, yeah, so now we have a, our Walgreens exclusive clone trooper. I remember one of my greatest hunt stories, actually, is when I found the Walgreens exclusive Obi-Wan Kenobi figure from from the Gendy Tartakovsky, Gendy Tartakovsky Clone Wars series. And I remember that was definitely my best Walgreens hunt. And at least for this one, I actually haven't, I tried to go on a hunt for this one. Of course, didn't find anything in my area. So I'm glad that this guy came into stock on the website and I grabbed myself a, a few, <laughs> a few. I don't usually army build, I don't. But um, I, try to uh for the um for some of the clone troopers usually it's actually really is just the 212th and the 501st i want to get a few so that i can have like a nice good decent amount to be flanking around around my obi-wan and anakin because i mean really think about it this is how it works for me basically right two, you get two of a figure then that's basically you have guards right because you have one standing on either side of the person who who they're supposed to be loyal to or whatever so the emperor palpatine figure you really only need two royal guards but then for actual army soldiers like this you probably need at least you know i mean sometimes i usually get two, usually get two. but then for characters like these troopers like these where it's actually a battalion or a legion or whatever i mean my max is four because then you don't want to make it seem like it's just two guards of obi-wan or anakin or captain rex or whatever you actually want to make it seem like it's an army like this is a this is a unit this is a squad you want a squad of them so yes i got myself i think i got myself four of these i managed to get them on the website and honestly uh i'm glad that it wasn't such a hassle one thing i will say is that um with these with the recent increase in prices with a lot of star wars stuff i have been a little bit more selective you know playing the long game on some things for example i already had the rogue the uh rogue one crew from 2016 so i figure i don't really need the new ones but then uh the hasbro pulse had their sale on their website and i look up and i've tried to phase out I actually phased out that rogue one team because i had figured that um basically what my rule is is that i don't really want pre photo reel likenesses because it just it just doesn't look as good anymore so what i uh i actually phased them out so i didn't have a rogue one on my shelf but then hasbro pulse just had their power days sale and i had managed to get uh i had managed to finish the new updated rogue one team i'd gotten Jin and cassian on another gamestop sale earlier on in the year Jin and um uh, Jin and k2so i'm sorry and bodie you know bodie i'm actually excited to open but i still have those figures kind of backlogged a little bit i still have them in box but i'm excited to be going over this 212 trooper with y'all today here so yeah y'all really know what you're getting into with this guy basically just uh same formula for the new clone trooper body mold repainted a little bit more animated style although one thing people have been complaining about with this figure is um the uh basically kind of like the lack of the black line right here it doesn't really i don't really have an issue with it you know it's just a clone trooper to me i did like that uh that black line thing doesn't really bother me because this is how it looked like in the show although i can see i can sort of see what people's little complaint is with this body because it's it's a little bit more animated style you know the proportions and everything like that it's I would say it looks more realistic than the other one, but it, you can also tell where the animated interpretation comes in. It's like they made it more realistic proportion-wise, but they also made it a little bit more animated in design. So I can see what people are saying, because when you compare it to something like this, 
where say the proportions are a little bit you know questionable but you can definitely tell that it is uh it's it's realistic you know it kind of looks and i think also the weathering and the battle damage has something to do with that i do feel like this guy would have benefited from some battle damage some weathering like how his order 66 pack counterpart came with but other than that you guys know what you're getting into with this guy 212 trooper um so here's a look at the back love the orange details on the 212 trooper i love it i love it i love it i love it take a look at that so here we go as you guys can see here I got a little bit of paint bleeding on my arm there. But it looks good. It looks good. I really do like it. 212 Trooper looking super good. There he is and his 501st brother right here. And I would say, even though these two are different body molds, they do look very good together. Let me see if I can get down my, my 332nd Trooper. He's a little bit further back, but let's see if I can, if I can pull him down. It might be challenging, but... The way I have my shelf arranged right now, it's a, it's a very peculiar setup because I changed it from last, from the last time y'all have seen it. And I'll, I'll kind of describe that to y'all in a second. I wasn't able to pull down my 332nd, it's pretty far back there, but I was able to get this guy for y'all to look at. So here are just some rainbow colors of troopers, even though gray isn't on the rainbow. So there we got our orange, orange color, our blue over here. And now we got our 330 seconds. So honestly, I like the way that this looks. The clone trooper, the only thing I will complain about with like the clone troopers nowadays is that, yeah, they have switched the bodies quite a bit. So now it doesn't look as uniform as I'd like it to look. But honestly, I still think that this looks fine. Um, considering the way that like, you know, how they're trying to improve their body molds, um, I'm cool with this. Pinless body mold for this clone trooper. And I love the new clone trooper body mold, I will say. Now, the only thing is, is that, yeah, it would be nice if they, it doesn't seem to, they don't seem to be using it with a lot of the um, live action clone troopers, especially, I mean, they have used it with the phase one clone trooper, but I don't see them really using it with the other ones. So I'm trying to see what it would look like something with this realistic body mold, because I was really hoping that we'd get a 501st on, um, on this body mold here, just a plain 501st. But I guess for now, the 332nd will do. And hopefully we get actual clone commanders on that body mold too. We have the ARC Troopers, which is good. Speaking of which, I actually got this guy a month ago. Still ain't cracked him open yet. That might be the next one. I'm going to do a, a flurry of Star Wars videos for my Star Wars buzz out there. But yeah, this is a... This is going to be a Star Wars month this June. I'm sorry I didn't do anything for Celebration. Although I did make a story post asking you guys what the reveals were like for y'all. I was going to make the um, a sort of overview of the reveals, like how I usually do a screen recording, but, you know, I just didn't get around to it, and I figured it was too late by the time, you know, I had done it because y'all have already seen a lot of people talk about them. But I gotta say, this 212th Clone Trooper, I really do like it. Look at how good that looks together. Look at how good that looks. Let me see where my Cody is, because I feel like it'd be unjust for me to do this sort of is sort of showing of these characters without my uh, Cody down here. And I'll also throw y'all a bone and get my Obi-Wan down here as well. Okay. So. Let's see. All right. But yeah, guys, while I'm doing this, y'all type down in the comments, what are y'all excited for out of the Black Series line? Plenty of great stuff coming out. I really am looking forward to getting those Inquisitors. They look really good. Whew. Yeah, certainly. It's just the, with the increase in prices, you know, the Star Wars line has been hard for me to keep up with because it doesn't really feel like we're getting, I mean, we're getting better figures, of course, but that's just something that you'd hope would, like, would just be an evolution without an increase in price. I know with inflation, price of everything is going up. But it's just for the Star Wars line with the, um, there's no build a figure. There's really not that many accessories most of the time. For example, one thing that's annoying me with this figure is that he didn't come with this DC-15 right here. That's one thing that kind of upsets me. He came only with his DC-15 carbine, I believe is what it's called. And that just makes me kind of upset because you'd want to have more options like that. Even though I do have plenty of these guns left over here, for collectors that are just getting in, like, they might not have too many options to put their clone troopers with as far as weaponry goes. And they still haven't made um, a rotary blaster, which I'm waiting for. 
here he is here they are next to their commander commander cody as you can see off shit sort of i mean the shades of orange look more off on camera than they do here in person that's because i mean my camera kind of looks a little bit saturated kind of saturates the colors i mean they do look very nice in person don't get me wrong but i do see that um the oranges don't seem to line up they seem to be close enough though here they line up pretty well in person like it's not super duper noticeable and commander cody you know he does look a little bit darker they, they try to do some sort of semi half weathering on him which i can respect so all right so there we got commander cody and there they are next to our even though we never see phase two two twelfth troopers around clone commander or general kenobi in this armor there he is there he is next to him still looks good no no get me wrong we never really see them next to him in this might have actually happened in a few comic books now i think about it but that looks good to me i like that i like that i like that a lot the only thing is that my my revenge of the sith obi-wan he's pretty far back on the shelf and i don't i figure i don't want to cause an avalanche here while i'm recording but honestly just this uh this phase two clone trooper i like it i like it a lot back of the box reads far superior to battle droids clone troopers form the backbone of the new republic's military that waged war against the con forces of the confederacy of the independent systems pretty semi-vague bio i mean it's just a clone trooper bio in general it doesn't really highlight anything about the 212th in particular but i mean look at that box art oh, it's a little bit far back look at that don't want to knock these figures over i want to keep these figures in for y'all to view but i like this i like this a lot um, one thing I guess it could say about the 212th, uh, participated in several key battles throughout the galaxy. Just, you know, say 212 somewhere in that bio. Like, um, you know, they participated in the climactic battle of Utapau, helped General Kenobi bring an end to the Separatist threat or something like that. You know, fought in the battle that killed General Grievous, something like that. You know, make these, give these bios a little bit more juice, you know what I'm saying? Um, because what if some kid walks into a Walgreens and they're just like, hey... Hey, uh, this this figure looks kind of cool. I don't know anything about him. Hopefully, I can read the back. You know, I mean, he probably just learned how to read in the first place. And then he reads that, and he's just like, okay, but um, well, how is this guy different from the rest? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't really know what I'm talking about here. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to say something because you know these bios, these bios, they they be keeping them vague. And this trooper design has existed for a while now. But guys, uh. I'm trying to keep this one somewhat short i always say that it always ends up being longer than 10 minutes but thank you guys so much for watching definitely try to get your 212 trooper if you can i know it's very challenging with walgreens and their whole distribution it is it it's pretty horrible i mean honestly i'm one of those people that's never really had a super big issue with exclusives because i just i know that hasbro they just they need exclusives in order to get, actually get their product out there but the issue comes along with uh last year it really started to pick up like every single figure in the black series line damn near started to become exclusive last year and it just felt i started to fall behind a little bit because there were the gaming rates exclusives target exclusives that still ain't come out yet i mean shoot the only target exclusive black series figure i've gotten recently recently being february is that that uh sonnet what is it called um the mandalorian and grogu set but yeah, so this exclusive, this it's quite a mess. I can't even lie. But at least, you know, some of the mainline figures, they do look pretty good. I love the look of that Ayla Secura and that Reva as well as the Inquisitor. So I definitely cannot wait to get those, finish up that Inquisitor team. And I'm just looking forward to making more Star Wars videos out there for my Star Wars buds. Um, but of course, one thing we got to do is stick this guy up onto the shelf to give you guys a context of how he looks with some other star wars characters now fair disclaimer my shelf right now even though all of most of the figures are up there it is quite disorganized in the way that i arranged it and i'll explain shortly i will explain in a minute here all right let's take these guys i'm gonna keep those two there for y'all to look at for a minute uh kenobi i mean cody and and the 212 clone trooper But when I say disorganized, this is what I mean. So, right now I actually have my display set up in the sense that uh, these figures are actually arranged in the sense that this is the order in which I sort of bought them. Not entirely. There are some figures that are kind of out of order here. 
but the general sort of sort of thing behind this display is that over there all the way over there are the figures i got back in 2017 2018 moving over here is like 2020 sort of ish over here is 2021 pickups you guys will sort of see that pattern as you see which figures are sort of arranged palpatine never moved um i just didn't want to touch him because the royal guards uh well i moved him once and then i just moved him back because i can't have him anywhere except to, like you know the top shelf of the room it just looks so much better that way and then over here my 2022 pickups as you guys can see so these are some of the more newer stuff but that's how i have it, <laughs> that's how i have it arranged right now i don't know i just during star wars celebration i just felt like changing it up you know switching it up a bit but i will change it back eventually i just like the way that looks for now it's a celebration of Star Wars, you know, all parts of it. So that's sort of my Black Series journey right there. Those hot figures over there, those are out of order, though. <laughs> Alright, but thank you guys so much for watching. Tell me, guys, what you think about the 212 Trooper. And I hope to see you on the next one. Stay safe out there. And always remember to be the best. I'll let y'all.